what I wish I told my younger self. If I told myself these things, I'll be so much further along on a mental level, physical level, spiritual level. It will literally be insane. So make sure to watch this video all the way, all the way to the end. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Stay with conversations. Yes, sir. Now, before I get started, make sure to pay the algorithm by smashing that like button, hitting that red subscribe button, and the link. Make sure to follow me on my social media platforms and check out my programs if you want to improve yourself and take your life to the next level. So let's get into it. So what I wish I told my younger self, you know? I told myself when I was 40, 15, 16, you know? So I hope this video will uh, relate to you. But I told myself, because if I told myself right now, the way my mindset will be, physically will be, spiritual will be, you know? My, my uh, career-wise will be absolutely uh, different. Yeah, I'll be a whole different person than that. Do you understand? Which will be very, <laughs> very, very scary, man. So anyway, the most important thing though is that I, I know now, that's where I know. It don't, don't, doesn't matter how long it takes, but the important thing that I know, you know? So first of all is that, do what makes you happy. Of, we always that go with, when a teenager go with, oh, you, your parents, your friends know what's best for you. No, they don't, want, they don't know what's best for you. you. Only you know what's best for you. So the way you talk, the way you dress, you know, your career path, where you to be, where you want to become a footballer, or or where a rap singer, where I mean, you know what's best, you know what your passion, your goals are, you know what's best for you. Your parents only give you suggestions, give you advice and that, but don't take their advice as that that is the, the, uh, as permanent. They are, or they they are the, the parents they want the best for me. They got my own best interest. That's it, you know. So when they say you're going to be a lawyer, a doctor, and even though deep down you don't want to do it. You don't do it and you do it anyway, then whose decision that you made in that? You made, you allow, you, that you made, you, you allow them to make the, the, the decision for you. You know, and later on, as time goes by, realizing that, you know, you're not happy, you're unfulfilled. You know, and realize it's not, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not speaking to you, it's not speaking to your soul. Why? Because. Of course, why? Because you uh, you went to the path where the parents told you to do, you know. They told you to do, they told you to go to school, get good grades, whatever, and that, and go go get go get a high paying job. That's it. But deep down, you don't want to do that, you know. And that is not going off by you, what you want to do, what you make you happy. That's a mistake that I made when I was a teenager, you know. I go up, I go my parents, oh yo, make sure you go to college school university. I realize that yo, this is actually, this is actually bullshit. This, this is not for me. I don't feel this, you know. This is not fun to me. I like to express myself, you know. So what is the, what, what are we doing? That's that's a mistake I I made in that, you know. So put your own imprint, your own of your imprint of what makes you happy. So you're able to express your life, express yourself and live a happy and fulfilled life and that. Extremely important, you know? Otherwise, you, otherwise you're, going to live in, you're going to live in regret and pain and disappointment. If not do what you make you happy. So that's, that's number one. Number two is stop allowing negativity of people influence your mind. That, let me give you an example. When I was, um, I aspired to be a professional football. I was playing football when I was, when I was young, you know? When I was living in, uh, in England, right? And, uh, what do you call it? I would allow when um, the coach, the coach would tell me, oh, that's not good enough, yeah, this is not good enough. And I allowed to get to my mind, and I allowed to get into my mind, you know? And, uh, what do you call it? I was able to fulfill that. I wanted to get my over cube and pay a period of time. Even when I came to uh, England as well, uh, I got a call. I used to have to call to tell me this that I was, I was, uh, I was absolutely effing useless. That's what you would tell me, you know. You would tell me that, and uh, boom. Again, a lot of the negative influence my mind and that influence my performance. You know, my joy of playing football. Or even my, my dad would tell me, uh, it's not good enough, they laugh at me, whatever, and nah, I, this is not good enough, you're not doing this right, you're not doing that right, I like to get into my head. You know? Instead of changing it and using the, 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 the critique, the, the, I could call it, you could call it negativity, whatever, and nah, I, use that, that the critique and use that to use that as fuel. 
Use it as fuel to improve myself. So I'm gonna prove myself wrong. I'm gonna prove they're wrong. You know, that I, I, I've got the potential to be a, a great footballer. You know, to be a fresh footballer. You know, to make a career out of it. That's the, that's the way I have to view, my, uh, view it and that. Not, not what other people, other people are um, saying. You know? But they're, 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 that's only just their opinion. But I made the final decision. I decide, I decide how I'm going to feel. You know? I can't allow negativity. You allow negativity to influence your mind. No. Whatever take you use that fuel and prove yourself wrong. And use that as a, a motivation, a drive to keep getting proof and getting better and better. Of whatever whatever that you enjoy to passion about, whatever your, your career path is, that's what you need to do. You know? Or it's only your progress, you're killing your you're killing your goals, your dreams, you know, and you can end up settling in for something that you don't want to do later on in life. Do you understand? So that's that number two. Number three, right, is School doesn't mean anything like that. It, is, it doesn't determine what the quality of life you're going to live. It doesn't, go to, it doesn't determine of, uh, it doesn't determine the person you're going to become. You understand? School really, at least from my opinion, is a waste of time. The older information that you're learning, it won't serve you in the real world. <laughs> you know, because everybody, think about everybody's gone to school. Most people go to school. So, you go there now, you already learn about one plus one is two, all this maths, English, all this, uh, all this uh, history, all of that is, I mean, it doesn't mean nothing because when you go for a job, they don't ask you, oh, what is your, your grades? You know what I mean? What's your, what's your, what, what grades do you have? What do you have? Did you have an uh, A star in English? Or did you have uh, uh, A or B or you had C? It doesn't mean nothing. The grades they have doesn't mean nothing. You know, even uh, the job that you want, you're not even going to get it. They, they don't tell you that either, you know? They don't look for someone who's got experience in that job and has practically done it, you know? So, again, all that they're teaching you, all the French is all useless. 99.9% of it is useless. Okay, you can say being invited, but you can do that at home. So, it's a complete waste of time and energy. They program you to be a worker, you know? Just to, just to go be a good citizen, a good citizen a, 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 a pay your mortgage, pay your mortgage, have a good job and uh, with benefits. Uh, good enough with your benefits and, and uh, where you could pay your bills, you, you got family, you, uh, you, you, you die, that's it. That's, that's all. That's all your life is going to be. All you do is work in 40 hours, 40, 50 hours a week. That's it. While I work, work, that's it. So you're going to have time freedom, location freedom, financial freedom, none of it. You know what I'm going from? Absolutely none of it in that. So it's a completely a waste of time in that. You understand? It doesn't matter who, you, who you're going to be. You know what I mean? It could be in a, a free year style. It could influence, have a massive influence, impact on the world and that. You know? So, you're continuously transforming. You're continuously evolving. As a human being, your consciousness keeps changing. Your mindset keeps changing and that. What it was a year ago, a year later, you become a different person. So, school hasn't got a bearing of, the, of what you're going to achieve in life. Absolutely nothing and that. You know, just have a good time. If you're gonna go to school, I just have a good time and that. Smile, have a good time and that. Just that. But I have to put your mind in that. Set a sense of what you want to become, the your goals and dreams that you want to uh, acquire and that. Uh, whatever you want to achieve, go ahead and go and do that and that. Just that. You got a vision of what you want to become, that's it. Just take school. Don't take school seriously, man. Let's have fun. Whatever, whatever grades you get, you get, that's it. But once you go past that door, you close that door, that's it. That's when you, that's when you enter the real world. You understand the real world in that man. Until then and now, that's all fantasy. All this programming you to be a worker. You're gonna, you are going to end up going to, you end up getting, getting to the real world in that. And most people are lost. What are you gonna do? Oh, I go, what are we gonna do? You understand? Come for me. You have got no skills. The teacher with no skills, what? You got no skills. You know? Uh, uh, real estate, crypto, um, uh, what you call it, all these skills and that. They don't pay to a high equal skill. They don't teach you anything and that, really. They're telling me. They say just waste of time and that. Or you start to memorize information. Just that. Um, but the best way we learn and that is through making mistakes, is through doing things practically. You know? That is, that's how we evolve as human That's how we evolve as human beings. So, school doesn't mean anything. The next point here yeah, is the point, point number four, which is. Be confident in yourself. When I was a teenager, I was a con I wasn't. Uh, I lacked confidence. I won't say I have no confidence whatsoever. I, I lacked confidence. You know, the, for example, confidence in the um, uh, what you call it. 
uh, asking questions with the teacher, you know, question asking the questions, and I wasn't, I wasn't doing, it, I was keeping it to myself, you know, uh, flipping uh, with, uh, with with girls, you know, at school. You know, saying to us, I was a shy, whatever, like conference to to uh, talk to them. You know, I was all with the with the man, them, and I, that's it. Playing football, doing all these uh, physical activities. You understand? Know, if you look at my my experience in school, I was out there. I was out there, you understand? Know, like you know what? You know what? Like the typical um, people that go to school, like chasing, chasing like uh, girls and that. You know, what I'm saying to you, you know, talk to them and get change their numbers, whatever and that. I, 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 didn't, I didn't do that just because I like the conference. I, you know, that I wanted to do the experience, but I didn't do it, you know, until like later, uh, later on in life and that, you know what I'm saying? But it's good to get that experience and that's so a foundation when it comes to dealing with women and understanding their nature, you know? So um, be comfortable yourself on that, just you know come from of like, yo, that you, that you are smart and that, you know what I mean? That you are, that you are capable, be comfortable yourself. You know, and that will show, and I mean that will show, and people people will gravitate towards you. You know, so be confident. Whether whether you you whether you're unsure about it, step into it. Now. Speak to that person and that just that. Speak to that person that do, show show go on for the class and show them about what you what you've learned and of whatever topic you're talking about in that classroom. Boom, go on to it. speak it. Somebody comfort zone. Even if even if you mess up. It doesn't matter. You learn from the experience and the more you do it, the better and better you become. You see, that's how it works. The next thing is that, this is a very big one, probably the most important on there, is that is pursue your goals and dreams in it. Do you understand? Because a, a, a school is done for you to be a worker, be a good citizen, be a, be a good citizen and that's it. You know what I'm saying to you? You get a go old, you pay you pay the mortgage, like go holiday once a year, you ain't got a time for okay if you can't travel the world, you can't do endless amount of things you cannot do. You know what I mean? Just sitting there, boom, work, work, that's it. Or you're sleeping, working, couple of hours, going to work. Couple of hours, that's all you're doing. All day, every day is going round and round in circles. Yeah? So so what you call it? The the your gym so that that's what makes you who you are now. Just that's what that's what you become unique. You become a one of a kind. By, but it's just most of people don't do it. Most people just working just to get by, you know. Just working a job that they hate, that they hate and that with passion, you know. But they're going and coming there over and over again. You don't want to live that life. You want to live a life. You want to live a life and that of infinite potential. And you have to do that by chasing your dreams. Or whatever we call the football, like a rapper, a singer, you know. Wherever you want to be, wherever you, that you decide to become, wherever you're big, that you go as big as possible. Think as big as possible where you to become and go after that thing. That is what you need to do. That, then, that, that's what you say for you fulfill your potential, maximizing your life. You know? And back when I was a teenager, when I was a teenager, cool, I was, although I was, uh, I was brought up in, in a football and family and, that, and playing football, all of that thing and that, but. Yeah, I want to be a uh, wants to be a professional footballer initially, you know. But the feed of it wasn't wasn't like uh, wasn't great, and you know, I was going to be a professional footballer. One, two, stumble bus obstacles on the way, and that's it. I stopped as I played because all because of all because of all sorts of reasons. But but I tell you right now, and that you only if you got in regret and failure, you want to go out there and. Before your goals to become, uh, to become uh, what you call it, um, uh, to become whatever you you decide to become, you know, or for all the things I just mentioned in that, you know, that's 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 what you came here to do in that, to feel potential, make make a massive inverse impact in the world, and by doing that, is the things I just mentioned is like able to do that, you know, otherwise. It's not going. It's not. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to happen. You're going to do. You're going to follow me. You're going to settle for mediocrity. You're going to follow society standards, and that's it. You know, saying before you know it, that you're 60, 70, and that's a game over. And they say, and they say, you're sitting there talking to your grandchildren, what you, what you could have become, what, you, what, what you, um, what you could have become, basically. You know, I could have been this, could have been that, but then it's too late. Then, you know, so go after your goals. Your about 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 any means necessary, but at all cost. At all cost, 
Um, another thing as well why I lacked as well as a teenager is ask questions now. Why, why? It doesn't, it doesn't hurt saying that you do not understand something. You know, ask it, ask it why is this? You know, ask it um, why, why is it so negativity on the news and that? Ask it, you know, anything that you got in your mind, ask it why, why, why? Because the more you questions you ask, the, ask, the more answers you get. If you ask no question, you get no answer for anyone. Anyone you get to ask from, you have to continue to ask questions and be skeptical, even about it, be annoying to a person, to your friend or family. But could you ask why, why, why? The more I ask, the more you question, the more answer you get, and the more you're able to progress in life. You know, progress in your mindset, so mindset, or physically, or whatever. You need to progress, but continuously asking why. You know, so don't be afraid to do whatever's in your mind. By the way, when you ask a question, ask it straight away. Any question you got right now. In, in, the feed, uh, in the comments, go ahead and do so. And my last point is that create your own path. Create, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double down on this one. Is it create your own path and don't follow society standards? You know, society standards won't be your parents telling you, you just go and do good grades, get a good job, and that's it. Go to be a lawyer, a major, go to be a nurse, that's it. That's what my, my parents used to uh, tell me, you know, after they realized, after they realized that I'm not going to make as a, to make as a, to make a, to become a professional footballer, right? You know, the, the, they are, they said, oh, they're going to go to the university, have a good grades, have a good job and that. That's, that's because the whole family, my whole family, most of them never go to university. They just go on this, boom, they grew up and I just end up working a job, you know? So I'm going to have the family to break that, to break that generational curse, if you like, and that. But it's not really that. You know, it's work. It's again, same thing again. It's just like working out. You go and go, you enjoy, you won't get a high paying job, but yet you're still a high paying slave. You know, that's it. Same, same format that you will call you, time to be in and out, work for X amount, 40 hours a week. Same thing as well. Or you get a bit, uh, a little bit extra, bit more money, but that's about it. It's the same format. You know what I'm saying to you? So, that is society standards and that. that that's help our society, you know. But you have to create your own to be to be a leader, you know. You gotta follow. You gotta follow your own. Create your own path, and you know. Really, hold on, man. Don't, what, what do I want to become? Oh, I want to be a, a footballer. I want to be uh, a rapper, a singer, whatever. Go ahead and time energy towards being that. Or your time energy sacrificing to make whatever you need to do. Go ahead and make it happen. You know. That is what you need to. That's creating your own path, and that you know. Do your research on what you call it. On, on yourself and how you can go mentally, physically, spiritually, but most people don't know, know what they've been told, you know? Go to school, get a job, flipping, uh, make sure that have you five a day, you know? They don't tell you about seam attention, no fab, you know? The lays and lays upon life and the lays and lays and that they don't tell you nothing of that. You know what I'm saying to you? School don't tell you nothing anyway, you know? And your, the parents, the, 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 your parents only can tell you what they know, the way we put, what they, what they, their t t parents teach them. That's it. For the food they eat, what they watch, what they listen to. But you've got to break that. You got, to, you got to unlearn, unlearn, and relearn what you have learned. Just start to learn new information to cultivate your mindset, your thinking, your behavior. You know how you live your life, your philosophy. That is what well, that's that's when you're creating your own path. You're using your own initiative, use your own mind. You know, which is a bonus to really use your own indicator, or use your own use your own mind and that. You know? That's what most people tend to do in that. There's all a minute, like I'm eating meat, I can't eat better than eating meat and all that pork, sausage, bacon. No, I can do better. Let me do my meat. Okay, oh I find a new diet, this is better. Less chance of illness, disease, whatever. You know? Oh yeah, cool. But, but, but what's going on here? Like, I'm going to school, get a job where it doesn't make sense. Nah, I don't want to do that. No, ah, uh, this is what I want to do. And if you make off the mission, use your own initiative, use your own mind, and make decisions for yourself. You know, you can have somebody's input, opinion, but you gotta make the final call. You know, which is cool. They don't teach you use your own initiative, use your own mind. You know, so you don't think, think don't teach you to think about yourself. When you think about yourself, then you're not going to be a worker. You're going to be, you're going to live life on your own terms. You're going to be an entrepreneur. You know, you're going to be a, a professional athlete. That's what you're going to do. You know, but people not that people just get a program, program of on the outside. They're tapping in themselves and ask them, ask them the questions of what they want to do, uh, what 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 they want to achieve in life. 
Then you end up gonna be someone else gonna be controlling your life, influencing your mind and that. Then you become a bot, you become a slave. You know? So the use of the ownership is a big one and that to break free from the, the matrix and that. But break free from this program we've been taught since we were born. We didn't choose to be programmed, we just bought, got born into it, you know? And that's the way to, um, to you should only have own mind, that own pub, you break free from that program, you unplug the plug, you know what I mean, like Neo did in the, the Matrix, and plug it, and, uh, and live, uh, live the, and the way for your potential, yeah, and live how you want to live, you know? So that's a bonus tip, use your own initiative and use your own mind, you know? So that being said, this is the why I wish I learned when I was, when I was a teenager. So this open your eyes, this open your mind, you know, then and help you on, on a journey. Uh, and these tips help you on a journey to to uh, way to feel to, to, to progress in your life. Then make sure to smash the like button, hit that red subscribe button. Feel free to uh, to join to follow me on my social media platforms, uh, and also. Check out my my uh, my programs to, if you are interested to improve your life. Thank you for watching, and I see you in my next video.